The European Union, NATO and the United Nations have all reacted to Russia's blatant aggression in the Sea of Azov. All of the organizations called on the Kremlin to allow Ukrainian vessels to pass through the Kurd Strait without hindrance. They also confirmed their support for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. More next. Russia is attacking Ukraine and raising a new wave of military aggression in the Kerch Strait and the Sea of Azov. With these words, the ambassador of Ukraine to the EU, Mykola Tochitsky, called on the European Union to introduce new sanctions against the Kremlin. NATO and the EU declared that Moscow must allow Ukrainian vessels cross the Kerch Strait without interference. NATO fully supports Ukraine's sovereignty and its territorial integrity, including its navigational rights and its territorial waters. We call on Russia to ensure unhindered access to Ukrainian ports in the Azov Sea in accordance with international law. The European Union, in its statement, also called on Russia to fully restore movement in the Kerch Strait. The tensions in the Azov Sea and Kerch Strait have increased dangerously today. The European Union expects Russia to stop the inspections. The EU does not and will not recognize the illegal annexation of the Crimean Peninsula by Russia. Russia's aggression in the Kerch Strait was condemned by Canada, Poland, Denmark, Lithuania and Germany. The U.S. Congress urged U.S. President Donald Trump to bring Russian President Vladimir Putin to justice for violating international law. The U.S. State Department's special representative for Ukraine, Kurt Volker, also responded via Twitter. Russia rams Ukrainian vessel peacefully traveling toward a Ukrainian port. Russia seizes ships and crew and then accuses Ukraine of provocation? Russian aggression in the Sea of Azov will be discussed today at an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council at 11 a.m. New York time, 6 p.m. Kiev time. The meeting was convened at Ukraine's request. Russia also called for the UN Security Council to meet. Reported by Vadim Hrinko, UATV.